Looking at all those cameras you have up, those weather cameras. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to imagine there's this huge fire going on in our state because you see that. That's right. We've just been so lucky with our wind pattern here. A lot of the winds coming in from the ocean, from the west. It is pushing smoke to the east. So we're stuck with sunshine and blue skies. It's been this way for quite some time, and it looks like it's not going to change either. Uh, so we are expecting to see hazier conditions to the east over the weekend. Portland remaining under sunny skies. Check out this wall to wall sunshine from downtown Portland all the way out to the coast up and over the mountains. It is just gorgeous around the state here and you can see that strong onshore push of wind. So winds coming on shore uh, that is keeping our skies very blue. There is some thicker smoke out towards areas of southeastern Oregon. Can't quite see it here on our satellite, but uh, you can tell that there's really not much action going on in terms of precipitation or rainfall. It is just a very quiet start to our Friday here across the entire Pacific Northwest. There there's that view from the coin tower cameras again. So much sunshine and a gorgeous Friday on tap. We'll heat up today though. So as we head our way into the afternoon, soon to be in the 80s, right around 3 o'clock or so, we should hit about 80 degrees. So some heat on the way. We'll finish out with a gorgeous evening tonight. Clear skies, perfect for our full moon tonight. That moon should start to rise after about 930 or so. So take a peek out towards the skies or if you're up early tomorrow morning, we'll see the full buck moon out. So here's our weather pattern. You can see a ridge of high pressure still in place. This is a blocking pattern, so we're not expecting any rain here and still no rain in sight for the next seven days. But in terms of heat, it is looking like we will see a stronger ridge setting up as we head into the middle end of next week. And that is again showing it's going to influence portions of the Pacific Northwest too. likely a lot of heat in areas in the desert Southwest at to Nevada in Arizona, Utah, but for our region, we could tap into some of that heat or it stays just on the east sides, but we are trending hotter right now, likely staying in the 80s and 90s as we hit this weekend and beyond. So the coast today, upper 60s, low 70s. This is a good spot to avoid the heat and cool down today again in the 70s in Portland and the valley today. We'll see the 80s and over the weekend out to the coast. We'll stay in the mid 60s to upper 60s, likely some moments of clouds for the morning, a little breezy too, but still a beautiful weekend around the Oregon coast. I do want to mention a red flag warning now, now in place for Saturday. We will, we will uh, heat up out towards areas of southern central Oregon right near the bootleg fire. It's going to heat up and will stay hot all weekend long. Right now, uh, we have a chance to see some very thick smoke plumes and even those pyrocumulus clouds that can be isolated storm systems. So erratic winds and very gusty winds over that dry area that's going to heat up. We are predicting to see some explosive growth of the bootleg fire uh, this weekend. So we're going to track that in terms of our high level smoke and our smoke forecast. You can see we'll have more impact from the Dixie fire, one of the largest fires in California right Right now that will likely push some smoke into the eastern sides of our state again. We're still tapping into that westerly wind, so it's not likely that we see smoke in Portland. It's going to stay on the east sides of the Cascades and start to shift towards the northeast and out the door, but likely more haze in this region as we head towards our weekend in Portland. Your seven day forecast expecting 90 degrees this weekend. We're going to heat up a little more than today. We'll stay in the 80s next week and we'll track that warming trend by the end of it right now. Thursday back in the low 90s back to you guys. Thank you very much, Kelly.